Now look here. This is the superior laryngeal nerve, and superior laryngeal nerve runs along with the superior thyroidal artery. While it is away from the thyroid, here the thyroid gland will be placed here. So remember thyroidectomy. It's very commonly being asked during thyroidectomy. This uh, superior thyroidal artery is ligated close to the gland because if you ligating it away, the chances of tying up of this external laryngeal nerve. So remember that superior thyroidal artery is in close relation with the external laryngeal nerve away from the gland. It's a little separate, so you can ligate the artery close. Closer to the gland. While here, in case of the recurrent laryngeal nerve, you can see is this inferior thyroidal artery, which is very much in close approximation with the recurrent laryngeal nerve close to the gland. So here, ligating in case of thyroidectomy, there are very much chances of injuring or ligating to this recurrent laryngeal nerve. So this artery is ligated away from the gland, right? There's a mnemonic for you to learn the relationship between superior thyroidal artery and external laryngeal nerve, which is quite often asked. So remember, A for above, A for away. Right, so the artery and nerve are in close, intimate relation away from the thyroid gland. Then the relationship between recurrent laryngeal nerve and inferior thyroidal artery. This also is very often asked, especially in relation to thyroidectomy. So remember, N for niche means down. So N for niche, N for nearer to the gland means inferior thyroidal artery is in close intimate relation with the recurrent laryngeal nerve nearer to the gland so for your mcq purpose remember when they ask about ligation of these arteries during thyroidectomy so superior thyroidal artery will be ligated close to the gland inferior thyroidal artery will be ligated away from the gland so this is just for your mcq purpose but in practical surgical applications remember that the inferior thyroidal artery is actually ligated at its terminal branches checking out all the variations in the relation of recurrent laryngeal nerve with the terminal branches of the inferior thyroidal artery so after identifying the recurrent laryngeal nerve these branches from the inferior thyroidal artery nearer to the lobe are ligated making sure that you maintain the blood supply of the parathyroid glands so the blood supply to the parathyroid glands has to be taken care of Remember that parathyroid glands are located between the true and the false capsules, right? So the surgeon's approach for thyroidectomy is like a dissection approach. So they gently remove the false capsule with the adjacent tissues and then they reach into the plane between the true and false capsule where they can easily identify the two parathyroid glands on the posterior medial edge of the thyroid gland so that they can easily identify the blood supply to the parathyroid and can preserve them also to identify the recurrent laryngeal nerves and to preserve them.